Africa is a continent rich with opportunity. And when business and communities come together, its astonishing potential begins to be felt. With the Sustainable Development Goals steering these partnerships, Africa's future is being rewritten with innovation, foresight and inclusivity. Crossing the length and breadth of the continent, our journalists uncover these stories and share them with the world. Join us now for remarkable stories of partnerships across Africa, building the future and changing lives. It's Africa's time. Water is the world's most precious resource. Where there is clean water, there is life. There's security, health, commerce, and countless opportunities for development. Today, over 300 million Africans are living without access to safe, clean water. In response to this crisis, the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation launched the Replenish Africa initiative known as RAIN in 2009. It's already reached 2 million people, and by 2020 this will increase to 6. It's the largest pan-African clean water access program and is present in 37 African countries. I'll be visiting Mozambique, Zimbabwe and South Africa to see the program in action and Maputo, Mozambique's capital, is my first stop. <laughs> Shaman Kulo Si is one of the many informal settlements in Maputo that struggled with access to water for decades. Community leader Grasa Kanda has been working with RAIN to change this. You know, she again, Shaman Kulo. Agua, Eu, quando era muito nova, o meu sonho era ser médica. Concluí a sétima classe e fui na escola comercial. Quando passei para o terceiro ano, não tive mais possibilidades de continuar, porque o meu pai... Eu tinha um irmão que seguia a mim, que ficou muito gravemente doente. Me chamavam por si. Trazer muitas doenças por falta de água. Também estava... Era um dos bairros também contemplados pela cólera. In the next 20 years, Africa's urban population is set to double, and one of the biggest challenges facing municipalities is creating affordable and sustainable access to water and sanitation. Lack of access to these leads to economic losses totaling billions, as productivity drops and healthcare costs rise. But for every one dollar invested in water and sanitation, at least four is returned. RAIN is the flagship initiative of the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation, and it is actually our commitment to provide access to safe water and sanitation to two million Africans by the year 2015. This is 2015, um, and we're very excited that we're actually going to be able to deliver on that commitment this year. I've traveled across Africa for some time now, exploring the power of partnerships. And in Maputo, RAIN works with international NGO Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor, WASAP, who engage with people like Grasa to get water into their communities. RAIN is helping WASAP scale up innovative water provision models and is empowering municipal and private water utilities to deliver sustainable services. Estes investimentos têm sido extremamente importantes, têm tido um impacto muito importante na vida das populações, porque lhes permite um abastecimento de água mais próximo. Para além do apoio direto à expansão da cobertura de abastecimento de água, a REIN tem também dado um apoio para, nos blocos sanitários que estão a ser construídos nestes bairros, mas também tem havido um apoio muito importante da REIN para melhorar sistemas de abastecimento, pequenos sistemas de abastecimento de água que o governo construiu, 
Quando nós começamos a implementar este programa, desde o início envolvemos as comunidades. Grasa's community association Amandla was key to making rain a success in her neighborhood. Dona Elisa, boas vindas. Dona Graça. Good to meet you. So this is the crash that's part of the association. É a crash da associação Amandla. Nós aqui na associação temos quatro projetos. Temos uma escolinha, temos outra de promoção de higiene, temos outra de latrinas compartilhadas e temos esta última de entrega de faturas. Então a senhora Zapa entrou, fez aquelas reuniões, então explicou que era o que era necessário, nós ajudamos, começou a fazer esta construção da casa de banho. Another key player was the local water utility, who built the infrastructure needed to pipe water into Shamankulo. Municipal utilities are on the front lines of securing water and sanitation for some of the poorest areas in the city, which is why RAIN is supporting the people behind the pipes. Project RAIN teve um impacto nesses bairros que me referi, porque no passado a nossa rede nós da empresa agora da região de Maputo não passava perto das casas das pessoas. Depois do financiamento desta nova rede, as pessoas já ficaram perto da nossa rede e puderam fazer ligações cada um para a sua casa. E isso melhorou muito as condições da vida das pessoas. E já não saem de casa para ir procurar água no vizinho ou em outros lugares e poupam o tempo para fazer outras coisas para o seu rendimento familiar. A Dona Graça tinha pessoas que se chamam ativistas do bairro, da comunidade, que andavam em casa em casa, mostrar as possibilidades de ter água em casa, as facilidades de pagamento na empresa, tudo aquilo que era necessário para que uma pessoa pudesse ter água em casa. So I have some pictures to remind you of that time. Oh! <laughs> Aqui é quando nós começamos a ver acesso, via de acesso para a nossa construção do bloco sanitário. Wow! Dona Graça também a carregar o material. Strong woman in Africa. Sim. Wow! What are you doing? Aqui já fazer, a explicar como nós conservamos nosso bloco sanitário. Tínhamos que arranjar uma pessoa para ser operadora do bloco sanitário. Então fizemos já a primeira reunião. Então é onde fui eu fui eleita presidente. Não nem faço conversar com 14 famílias para cada qual com seu comportamento e conseguir ter um comportamento comum em todas as famílias. Eu acho que outras mulheres, incluindo eu, gostariam de ser a Dona Graça, porque a Dona Graça é firme nas suas afirmações, é firme nos seus objetivos, é firme naquilo que ela quer fazer. Eu sou uma mãe e sou uma esposa. São duas tarefas quase semelhantes, que não são muito fáceis, mas precisa gerir e dizer também que eu sou capaz, porque se não consegue fazer isso aí, ter aquele autoestima de dizer que eu sou capaz de fazer isto, não é fácil. A Graça é sem dúvida uma mulher muito forte e que soube agarrar bem esta oportunidade. A associação tem, tem trabalhado muito connosco em continuidade, portanto permite-lhes crescer, que tem ajudado a comunidade onde vive, não só criando creches, ajudando para desenvolver empregos. E a Graça hoje é uma empresária de sucesso. It's great to see how the Rain Project is helping people shine and develop as leaders and entrepreneurs. Through the story, I've seen how real the impact is of having a tap in your home or a sanitation block on your street. Dignity, health and hope are being restored. In addition to their inner city work, RAIN also actively supports SMEs that provide water services to clients on the outskirts of the city. One such operator is Inácio Macamo. Bom dia, pessoal. Bom dia. Como está? Estou bem, meu primeiro negócio era um pequeno importador de bens de consumo. Agora, o que que aconteceu depois das enxuradas, quando o meu bairro ficou sem água da rede pública? Então, Fiz o meu pequeno sistema de água para sustentar, para mim. Mas só que a população em volta veio, então muita gente queria água. Então eu comecei a dar água. Então a família também pressionando. Por que não deixa o negócio e vai para a água? 
Uh, o negócio, a princípio, estava a ter muitos, muitos problemas por causa da minha gestão deficiente, porque eu não tinha experiência. Então, esta organização, esta parceria, então, trouxe uma mão forte para me apoiar. Então, no meu próprio negócio, vejo que daqui para frente as coisas vão mudar muito. With rain funding, Mr. Makamo's tanks have been rehabilitated and their capacity has increased. He's gone from supplying 250 families to 1,400. Antes fornecia poucas horas, agora quase que forneço cerca de 18 horas por dia de água. Então, este é meu sonho que um dia eu venho a fornecer água, digamos, 24 horas por dia aos meus clientes. A água é uma coisa muito preciosa, sem água não há vida. Então ficou muito complicado nós crescemos com essas dificuldades de não ter água potável. Às vezes conseguíamos dois, três bidões para lavar, tomar banho, lavar a, a louça. Mas hoje em dia, epa, já essa, essa, essa fase ficou ultrapassada, graças a Deus. Nos últimos 10 anos de água, nós tínhamos que cartar no vizinho com bidões, tínhamos que acordar muito cedo. Mas agora já temos acesso a água aqui perto. Aqui. A minha mãe é uma mulher batalhadora, guerreira, que fez muito por nós, porque é muito chata pra caramba, exigente, assim. É o caráter dela mesmo, por ser minha mãe. Eu, eu amo ela. Então, eu gosto de ser mãe, eu gosto de cuidar dos meus filhos, mas sou muito exigente. Minha mãe ensinou-me a ser uma mulher batalhadora, até graças a Deus a ela que me ensinou a trabalhar. African economies are growing fast, and if everyone has access to clean, safe water, it's estimated that this will add 33 billion US dollars a year to the continent's wealth, unleashing unlimited potential. We know that through this initiative, we are changing lives. Um, we are changing the way that communities work together. Um, and we're changing the overall trajectory of generations of Africans going forward. The second one, where we were given lights. The foundation of Africa's growth is the education of its children. Coming up next, we'll journey to Zimbabwe and South Africa to explore the pivotal role that water plays at schools and to see how rain is supporting young people to step up to their full potential. It's Africa's time. Water is life. It's the cornerstone of healthy, sustainable communities. The Replenish Africa initiative, known as RAIN, is the biggest clean water program on the continent. We've seen it in action in Mozambique, and now we've crossed the border westwards to rural Zimbabwe to meet a community that's been struggling with water access for years. Village <laughs> In the car, but I'm going to 1955. In the Noba, name, 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 Domara mira tinu anoita vanu adiro tunga mira mamoyeshu. 
damu zikorimo community ra garari mota ata ta garati ne damu zikore mvura uye zve makorano ta ne damu zikore kuti mwaka wakachinja mana ere mvura e akonzeresa kuti nembe uzita isima dza kutoda kuti tichinje ne kuti taiwanzo kuzvara mbeu dzedu muna October mu community muta garati ne damu dziko panya yekunwa mvura e nemuru kwa ino gona ngaya kuzopera ichiita shoma nguwa yekuti kwa kwa kupisa maningi I didn't realize it would be so beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, this is the eastern part of Zimbabwe. If you look there, you can see the homesteads scattered around. It's called Moyawashumba. Yes. And it means heart of a lion. These are Shona speaking people. Mm. Are you Shona? And I am also Shona, yes. Yeah. PLAN is an international organization. It is a child-centered organization. It is the implementing partner for the RAIN project in Zimbabwe. We are in Moeshumba right now. For years, like more than 20 years, the school has been having a problem of accessing safe drinking water. And there were problems of bilhazia. Cases were quite high at the primary school and uh, diarrheal diseases as well. There is a river which is called Chove down there. It's a rocky path to get to there. We had many casualties. All the time that they wasted going there was time for lessons. There was no proper uh, safe water to drink, and then there were problems of waterborne diseases. There were several applications for teachers intending to transfer because there was no water here. The Replenish Africa initiative is very important to Coca-Cola, and a big part of that is the access to safe water that we're doing in schools. What has been so amazing about uh, this water project in these communities is that um, the communities have taken ownership and they've taken it to a higher level. Coca-Cola approached PLAN, knowing that PLAN works in communities. They asked PLAN to implement the project on their behalf and then they would finance the project. Saka isusuo sema siwa tunga miriwe na raunda. Taka kwa nisawa kuunga ni zao wa nuedu community. Kutiendo kubasa, tishibasira kudiga, tishidae. A boho was drilled to supply both schools with water. This is the main tank that feeds the secondary school. As, and then it leads um, to the primary school as well. This is a 50 cubic meter capacity. Mm. Yeah, 50,000 liters. Lisa, the reason I brought you here is that I wanted to show you where the big event happened. The big event. The handover event for the RAIN project. What can I say? Every partner was just here and people could not believe that at last water was at Moiwashumba. But now, the doctors are going to be able to do it. The doctors are going to be to do it. The doctors are Saka 
as a community, it will benefit as a Kawanda. Because you know, in Mam Garden, there's a nutrition that could have certain no daros which are increased out, did we ever move a shumba, a goyaga quirida, pass the jed. Canao and Akunanaira, Nanaira, Gunana, Canao, talk and send them cheaper. After seeing the impact on thousands of pupils in Zimbabwe, I'm now headed to my home country, South Africa, where the Rain Water for Schools program is hoping to reach 50,000. We're meeting the formidable Nombolelo Sume, principal of Charles Duna Primary School in Port Elizabeth. I am Nombolelo Sume, principal of Charles Duna Primary School. I was born in New Brighton, the same area with the school, and I attended this school. You know, when I came in here in 1998, it, it was only a trickle of water that was coming out of our taps. But by year 2000, we just did not get any water. Water is, is a challenge because the infrastructure of not only the school, but the township itself needs rehauling. So what happened to the people? I was like, I was like, from the location to school, Zamanz, because there is no water at school. It's like when you come to Zamanz, we have to go to like flashy toilets. We have to like see them like go to school at eight, so we have to go to school at twelve. We have to go to school at twelve. Now, Zamanz, we have to go to school at eight. We have to go to school at twelve. So we have to go to school at twelve. We have to go to school at twelve. When there wasn't water at the school, we were having a challenge, firstly, with drinking water for the kids. Secondly, the toilets were a mess and the stench that was coming in. So obviously, as, as a leader, you want to preserve the dignity of your kids because they don't deserve to be in dirty toilets. With HIV-positive kids, sometimes they would have runny tummies and we'd have to clean them up. If you don't have water, how can you do that? Personally, for me, I was looking at a, a black child losing out on education. And for me, that was not on. So I just wanted to find ways of making sure that my kids are getting a good education. In 2012, I attended a conference organized by the University of, of Pretoria because I was working with them on destigmatizing HIV and AIDS. In the audience, there was Vukani from Coca-Cola. She said, you know, Coca-Cola has got a program, Rainwater for Schools, and they are putting water and sanitation into 100 schools. And she definitely knows that our school was not part of the schools that we're getting that. And I said, we are going to be school number 101 because we are going to make things happen for us. And, you know, she said, definitely. So this is where the new infrastructure went. I was wondering what these white things were popping up. You will yeah. always see them around the school, indication where the water pipes were laid. So how long did it take the refurbishment? It took the entire year because they did the overhauling of the water pipes and the refurbishing of the structure. As you can see, we didn't have this before. Now you can just push. And what I like is that it's saving water for the kids because immediately they let go, it stops. And how were the kids when they had the running water on tap? The first day, the first day, it was excitement and they were running around and they were showing each other, there's water, there's water. So it was a nice thing to see. We had to teach the kids how to use the toilets and how to use the taps and how to save water. We have to make sure that we maintain and part of maintaining is to be strict. So we started our own vegetable garden and during the time when we didn't have water, it was very difficult to maintain the garden. Now with the, the water that is coming in, we've been able to water our garden and uh, secure fresh vegetables from, from the garden. Because it's compulsory at this school to eat vegetables. If you can't, you can't eat vegetables, you have to give me a doctor's certificate to say you are allergic to spinach. What struck me the most in the story is the collaboration between so many players across so many countries and also the sheer scale of the project. 
through this journey, I've realized just how much I take access to safe, clean drinking water for granted. For so many of my fellow Africans, it doesn't simply come out of a tap.